What's going on guys? Sunny aka the random recorder here. And I don't really like sports. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. I do computer science and programming. And in my free time, I make videos about movies on the internet. So I think it makes a lot of sense to hear me say something like, I don't know, I honestly don't think I could name seven or eight NBA teams off the top of my head. What doesn't make a lot of sense then is that a sports film about basketball is not only one of my favorite films from this year, but it might be one of my favorite films of all time. One, two, three, win! Today we're talking about the first slam dunk, written and directed by Takahiko Inoue who also wrote and illustrated the highly influential manga series it's based on, simply titled Slam Dunk. The movie takes place right where the 1993 anime adaptation left off, and while it may make it seem like this movie is only for fans of the original series, I wouldn't say that at all. As someone who hasn't seen or read the original, it serves as a great first experience and a really satisfying movie on its own. Sports films have always thrived on the personal connection between the audience and the athletes. So in this movie, Inoue shifts the focus away from Sakuragi, the 6'2", physically gifted main character of the original series, and towards Ryota Miyagi, the more regular point guard of the team. Miyagi has suffered the loss of both his father and his older brother, and seeing how he picks himself up from that throughout the movie using basketball is a fantastic emotional core, one that's bolstered by the film's fascinating structure. The whole two-hour runtime is taken up by one single game of basketball. In between plays, we're treated to flashbacks of Miyagi's life, which we see directly impact the way he plays the game. In basketball, the point guard is frequently referred to as the team's playmaker or floor general, bringing the ball up the court, starting the team's offensive schemes, and passing the ball to their teammates are all their responsibilities. Thanks, Wikipedia! What's really cool about Miyagi is that we see his past affect how he plays, but as the point guard, how he plays directly affects every other player on the team. Inoue explores Miyagi, and through him explores the whole team. Ultimately, we get such a cohesive and compelling view of the players that every single major play feels monumental and genuinely cathartic. I was practically soaked in sweat during this film. And we can't talk about those monumental plays, or really any of the film, without talking about its unique blend of 2D and 3D CG animation. First off, to clear all doubts, it's gorgeous. There's no two ways about it. There's a lot of effort to use motion capture and real-life references during the game scenes, something that gives the animation a very weighty and satisfying look. And yet, there are equally as many moments of exciting stylization or dynamic camera movement that you can really only do in 3D animation. It's visceral and exciting, everything you could be looking for. And while you see bits of 2D in the basketball scenes, you see it a lot more in the flashbacks, a choice that I think works on multiple levels. The visual look, feel, and direction of 2D animation is so different from 3D that I think it clearly helps to delineate past and present. Plus, using 2D, which is more familiar to audiences, helps them connect more immediately with the drama they're watching. Both of these styles ultimately dovetail into an incredible climax that pulls everything the film has built into a thunderous final play and ending. The first slam dunk, now in theaters in America and Canada, is easily one of the best sports films I've ever seen, and an absolute must-watch in theaters. But at any rate, that's gonna wrap it up for today. If you watched the first slam dunk, feel free to let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. And if you watched anything else you'd like to talk about, feel free to leave it down there too. But that's gonna be all for today, guys. We're in our quarters. Peace out, and make sure to take care of yourself.